Hello and welcome to this Affinity Photo tutorial. And this is an adaptation of a Photoshop tutorial done by James Abbott in a recent issue of Digital Camera magazine. Now, in this tutorial, he looked at four different ways to add contrast to an image. Now, contrast is basically just making sure that the black areas of an image are black and the white areas of an image are white and the areas in between have a sort of nice balanced tone. Now in the four ways that he shows you can use the basic levels, use a lens filter, use the curves or convert it to black and white and then use curves. And as you can see from these four sort of strips here they do affect the image in different ways. Um, some will alter the colours a bit, or, and so it's a case of what look you are going for as to sort of which method you use. Now, I'm going to start with this image of mine, which is where I live, and we're going to start using like, the very basic method which is using levels so if I come to the adjustments icon here click on that go right to the top and click levels now you can see from this histogram here that the shadows on this side there are no sort of real black pixels here and similarly on the other side there are real white pixels so if I click on the black level and bring it in to the sort of start of the rise of the histogram here on the left and I'll do the same here on the right to bring in so you know, the, the, now these are the whitest pixels and if I just close that down if I turn this on and off hopefully you can see what just moving that levels adjustment has done to the image now I personally like that sort of extra boost of colour that this has given but in the Photoshop tutorial they recommend changing the blending mode to luminosity so again I mean it still does have a good effect but I personally liked on this particular image that sort of little extra boost of colour but that is what they suggest using the luminosity blend mode so that is the first method we just click and drag this down below so it's having no effect and I'll just turn it off again selecting my image again we're going to have a look at the lens filter again it's just an adjustment layer so I'll click on the adjustment layer and come to lens filter now by default we have this sort of orange colour which is pretty much not that far off of the colour we're looking for. Um, they do suggest using a sort of sepia colour which is a sort of more probably a darker brown colour. But what have I got here? I'm going to go with like 168, 119 and 0 but sort of any of that sort of browny sepia colour should be okay so I'll just um, before I do that I'm going to need to raise the optical density up to about 80% but I'm going to lower the opacity down to about 50% And the last thing I'm going to do is 
change the blend mode. I mean, you can do it from here or you could do it from up here. But I suggest using one of the contrast blend modes, which is like the overlay. And there can s overlay and soft light are probably your best two options because um, hard light and vivid light and what have you make it much more extreme. So let me have a look. Soft light. Yeah, for my personal taste on this case, overlay. So if I just turn this on and off, hopefully you can see that the sort of contrast in the image is much better than when without the adjustment. And the only difference is because of that sort of orangey colour, it does make the image much warmer. So if you don't want that effect the lens filter may not be the way to go for you so let me click and drag this down below again turn it off so it's not you being used and highlight the image layer again so looking at the curves option so again click on the adjustments come up to curves and what we're going to do here is we're going to I'm going to click in this sort of where these two lines meet here to put an anchor point there and similarly where these two lines meet I'm going to put an anchor point there and we can and will move these in a minute and what I'm going to do is I'm going to just move this bottom one down a bit I can't sort of give you a precise place of where to put these. It's just a case of you have to look at your your particular image and see what is working for you. So the lower one is affecting the darker pixels, and the upper one is affecting the lighter pixels. So I'm quite happy with that. Again, it can sort of sort of add extra colour, saturating the colours so you could always change the blend mode to luminosity um, but I, my personal taste is I quite like that um, so turning it on and off I'll again bring this below so it's not affecting and again start with my background image and this last one we're going to make it a black and white picture um, there are a number of ways of doing this but following the Photoshop tutorial we're going to use a gradient map and I'll just click on this green one and drag it down to get rid of it and I'm going to make this end black and that end white so this is currently biggest node so that's the color we're going to affect so black is zero 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 and then white is two five five two five five two five five so there we have the basic black and white image and then it's just a case of again adding a curves adjustment now, rather than adding nodes and moving this uh, line we're going to just like move the top two without sort of moving the line but I will add that node there and that node there to sort of keep that area safe from the and I'm going to move, I'm going to keep it on the bottom line here, but move it in towards the histogram. So it will work a bit like the levels adjustment. So bring that into the edge of the histogram. And similarly, move this along the top line and bring it to the edge of the histogram this side and 
and that's looking quite good I think I mean obviously it will affect this area here but those two nodes will sort of stop it going too far you can you can then tinker with these if your particular image needs it um, but then you know because these two nodes top and bottom will keep it all within the bounds of this area of the histogram so I'll do it just little slight movements there so now if I highlight that one as well turn that on and off hopefully you can see that the contrast the dark areas and the light areas are much better balanced now in this black and white version so that is basically it so thank you for watching and goodbye